Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this big guy right here. This is the Chris Reeve Knives Sebenza number 31. Um, this is a an update to the Sebenza 21, which has been Chris Reeve Knives' flagship product and is a, a staple of the knife industry, and it brings me a lot of joy to finally be able to check out this new revision of it. But first off, I want to thank my buddy Nick. Um, not myself, that'd be weird to thank myself, right? But um, no, my buddy Nick is an absolute gem of a human being, uh, a wonderful dude, and he uh, sent this guy along as a loader for me to take a look at. Um, thank you very much for that, Nick. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Um, next thing, let's do some size comparison. Here it is against the uh, Chris Reeve Knives Large Sebenza. Same damn thing, right? Uh, here it is against the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and the Ontario Rat number 2. So we can see... Eh, it's a reasonably sized knife. In fact, a little bit larger than, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the large Sebenza is not a tiny knife, even by my standards, especially by my standards. Here it is against the uh, Spydeco Delica. And then finally, here it is against a uh, Chris Reeve Knives small Sebenza. This is a 21, as you can tell by the locating hole. And here it is against the Chris Reeve Knives Mundi, which does not have a number. It is just awesome. So uh, as we can see here, it is larger than the small Sebenza. That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it, right? Um, And actually, this knife is just an update. Like I mentioned, this is, uh, you know, Chris Reeve Knives made the Sebenza 21, which itself was an update of another Sebenza. I believe it was the Sebenza Classic is what they're called now. Um, and so the Sebenza 21 was the update, and then they, they, they updated 10 years later to the 31, right? Um, I think it's based on years. And so they've done a couple of little tweaks here. And in fact, let's just talk about those tweaks, right? Um, what has changed in the Sebenza 31? Honestly, not that much. Probably the most visible change, and the way that you can tell at a glance whether it's a Sebenza 21 or 31, is the fixturing hole. The 21s all have this hole here, the 31s do not. They found a way to go without. All right, cool. Okay, why not, right? Um, next thing, the uh, clip on this guy. You can see on the original Sebenza 21, the clip goes straight down on the lock bar. On the uh, 31... You can see here the clip is canted off a little bit to the side. This actually is a nice little quality of life tweak as it just makes the knife hang a little bit more off to the side in the pocket. So particularly if you're carrying this guy in your right pocket, it's going to be a little bit easier to carry that way. Hey, great. No big deal there. And then uh, there, there is a different inlay pattern on the, uh, the, the the 31 rather than the 21 because there's no longer the hole in the middle. I actually find that new inlay pattern a little bit more attractive, but some people disagree. And then finally, that maybe the most, uh, the, the, the biggest functional difference is still not that big, but they've moved to a ceramic lock bar insert. Um, basically, they have, a, that's probably not the term they're using, but the lock face on this guy is actually a little ceramic ball that you can see in there. If you watch my disassembly video, you'll get a better sense of what it actually looks like. But in practice, that is your uh, ceramic ball there, and that is now the lock interface, as opposed to on the classics, well, on the classics as well as the 21, um, the, um, I know it's regular Sebenza, I think was the original, either way. Um, but the uh, lock face is just the titanium itself. And so this is the same upgrade they've done on the Umdum Zon as well as the uh, Nkosi series. They just brought in the 21, or uh, the 31, I guess, the Sebenza line. So those are really the only differences here. There's really not that much change. Um, the, 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 there you go. Um, the, the next thing, a bunch of people are going to ask me, Nick, are you doing a full review? Are you doing a full review? Well, kind of, yeah. I I, I carried it. I, I, I put it in the pocket. I spent spent some time with it. I gave it the time I needed to make sure I needed to, didn't need to do a full review. But in practice, at the end, I sat there. I was looking through my review of the Lodge 21 and thought to myself, this is the same damn knife. I mean, in practice, if you'd like a full review with the Sebenza 31, what I want you to do here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put up in the corner here a link to my Sebenza 21 review. And my Lodge Sebenza 21 review. So I want you to watch that. And every time I say the words 21, I want you to shout 31 louder. And by the end of it, I think you're going to feel like you've watched a review of the 31 and just try really hard not to see the hole. Uh, aside from that, they're really just, <laughs> it's not different. I, I was looking at my review and I was like, yep, 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 yep. Like I could repeat my, my exact review before, but I, that, that's a waste of my time and yours. So it's just it's the, damn near the same knife. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into my final conclusions here about the uh, 31. Um, I mean, A, it's a great knife. Look, the, the Lodge 21 is an amazing knife. It's a gem. There's a reason that it's a, a standard in the knife world. Um, so was the 21, but the 31 is no different. Um, they have absolutely not screwed it up. 
They have not done anything to this knife that makes me think, oh, that's a shame. No, it's, it, if anything, it's great. In fact, it, it is just the Sabenza 21 with a couple of little quality of life tweaks. The character of the knife isn't different. The carry on it is maybe slightly better with that little extra canting, but it's not meaningful different. Um, on this particular knife, the lockup is absolutely rock solid with no player rock, just like the 21s. Um, the, the blade appears to be pretty much the damn same. I mean, it's functionally, it's basically the same thing. Um, you know, in practice, yeah, there's a little slight difference in feeling on the detent as well as on the um, lock bar, uh, just the engagement of the lock bar. It maybe sounds a little tiny bit different, but practically speaking, it's not a different knife. It's not, there's it, it, it really nothing there. Um, I, I Personally, I like the inlay pattern a little bit more. That's that's true. The locating hole never felt super needed to me. Um, and the clip angle, it can't hurt. So if anything, it's a very small little improvement, but there's just not that much difference. So I guess my final conclusion here is that if you're looking for a Sebenza, then honestly, either one's going to work great. If you're looking out there and you're looking at different, and especially if you're after a specific variant, if you see it as a 21 that you like, go ahead, get it. You're going to love it. It's going to be a great knife. If you see it as a 31 that you like, then go ahead, get that. It's going to be a great knife for you too. They, functionally speaking, they're both going to be amazing for you. If you've already got a Sebenza 21, if you're, you're thinking to yourself, oh God, I've got a 21. Is it obsolete? Is it bad? Is it, Am I going to want the 31? I mean, you might want the 31, but that's because you got a problem, just like I got a problem right? Um, but in practice, you're not missing out on anything. Um, I feel absolutely no, you know, I like the Doppler pattern on this guy a lot personally. Um, but I, I see absolutely no real need to go to a 31 on this particular knife. I don't, you know, if somebody, you know, a magic GD comes out of a lamp and grants me wishes, one of my wishes ain't going to be to turn this into a 31. It doesn't freaking matter. So if you've got a 21 already, you're all set. You can get a 31, but if you do, it's, that's, that's just for fun. That's just a thing. So honestly, final conclusion, this is a, a good set of tweaks to an already great knife. Um, they, 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 they've done good work here. Um, sure, there were some things they could have done a little bit more on thumb studs, just saying. Um, but more importantly, it's absolutely a fine knife. The, the 21 was a gem. This is a gem too. So well done, Chris Reeve. You didn't screw it up. Um, and you know, it, it, it's a fine little thing, but at the same time, I think biggest conclusion, don't expect the 31 to, uh, Reeve you feeling any different than the 21 would have already. Uh, okay. Anyways, there you go. Hope you found this interesting and that you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.